So uh, well, let's say room roll then. Okay. Hi Patrick, you right? Yeah, all good, Harry, thank you. Good, 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 good. Um, now you've got in, have you had a chance to do your cockpit drill? No, I haven't at the moment, no. Did you want to do that now, or yeah. do you want to do it after we've had a little chat about what we're going to do? Let's just do it after the chat, shall we? All right, yeah. Comfortable. yeah. No problem. So let's just recap on what we did last week. Yeah. So, make something up. we drove yeah. in the sea. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, how did you feel with that? No, it went quite well. Felt Clutch control was good, got on the right of the traffic lights, didn't I? So, yeah, yeah feeling quite good. Feeling yeah, quite we've tackled. done all the traffic lights and we're different yeah. traffic light systems, turning right, you understand all that? Yep. Yeah. And that. How do you feel your roundabouts now? Because that was something we were having to work on, wasn't you? How confident yeah. do you feel on your roundabouts now? Well, I've got that little hesitation sort of out now, and I'm looking yeah. well into the road and looking to the right. And yeah, I feel, I feel confident, I feel like I want to do something a bit faster now I suppose. I said yes yeah, so we had a conversation at the end of last week and <coughs> you asked when were we going to do jog not jog houseways rural roads didn't yes, you? So. Yeah. so um so if I could just ask you what what why what's your motivation what would you like to get out of driving on rural roads what would you um, like to learn what goals would you like okay. to well, I, achieve? I live in the country and um Obviously, we, we have to get onto the, the main road, and with my parents, they sort of like drive quite fast on them, and I feel the bends are quite fast, and I suppose that's yeah. just a judgment of those, I, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, I, okay. I mean, I can drive, I can drive at thirty mile an hour, but so yeah, so rural roads, extra speed. Yeah. Do you know the speed limit on a rural road? If it's a national speed limit in a car, um, sixty. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what it is in a van? Um, 60? No, it's 50. Okay. It's worth knowing, because if you're a higher van, yeah. you'd need to know it's a different speed limit. Okay. Yeah, okay. you never know, it might okay. be. So, um, so yeah, so for for this vehicle, the maximum speed limit on a rural road of its national speed limit, signs posted, would be 60. Okay. So, the speeds you've been doing so far, what, what well, sort of speeds are you in? 30 and we got up to 40 a couple of times. Yeah, we've got out a little bit of ring road, haven't we? Yeah. So, um, and what kind of gears have you been using for... Um, um, for three and four, really. Three and four. Yeah. So if you have a little look at the gearbox, how many gears has this car got? Um, six. So could we, should we put that as one of your goals, if you like, to use the higher gears yeah, if I we're like using more that. speed? Yeah. So while we're looking at it, do you just want to have a practice? I know you haven't done your cockpit drills, so um, if you're happy just having a go, making sure you can find five and six. Okay. I'll just move that seat Alright, yeah, I mean do your cockpit drill now if okay. you like, might as well get that done. In fact, I'll put my seatbelt on and we'll just... So, yeah, that one move, wasn't it? <laughs> well done for checking. Good habit. Yeah, no, good. You're all happy? Yep. Good. So um so yeah, so now you're all set up, just have a go. I'll pop it in five and six. That's it. And now yeah. now to do that you're looking at it. Do you want to have a go at doing that <coughs> whilst not looking yeah. at the gears? So, so if you just put it in second for me, and then without looking at it, put it in fourth, and six. Put it in good, well done. Yep. Excellent. Okay, good. So can we do that? Can we jump from second, fourth, six? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Brilliant. So that's something we could look at today, because... Yes, I just wanted you to do that for sort of muscle memory because sometimes students, when they get their extra speed, they need they need that higher gear and they're like because they're not used to getting it, they struggle a little bit. Yeah. So just yeah, you just pop your seat back there. Just make sure we have to remember make yeah, sure you get that sorted out. With it. <coughs> so that's fine. Just while we're talking. Okay, so you also said that you'd like to think about bends and how to negotiate bends. That's right. Because if you, let's say if you was on this road here, yeah. and it has a rural road and the speed limit is 60, yeah. and we've got this sharp bend, how would you, how are you going to judge what kind of speed you need to be at for that bend? 
And I think I'd take a slow speed, but I wouldn't better judge, I guess, the correct speed. That's it, you're absolutely right. We want to slow down, don't yeah. we? Um, and do you, we can give you a way of actually sort of judging how to do that. Oh, because there won't be any signs saying you need to do this at 20 or 30. No. So each bend would be different. And if, if by the end of the day, if we could give you a way of being able to look at a bend yeah. and knowing how to judge your, a safe speed for that bend, then that would be something that would keep you safe. Oh, going for, especially as you live in the country, so you have to negotiate bends. It would be really good when you drive on a road that you don't know, because often experienced drivers say, oh, you know, slow down for this bend, because they've done, done that bend, before. Yeah, they know that was sharp. Maybe they've done it a little bit too quick and learnt from that experience. Well, often the cause of accidents is when people make, you know, don't get away of it. Yeah. So we don't want that to be you. No, we we want you to look at a bend and know what the, the speed, the safe speed would be. And we're going to get all the speed off before the bend, Okay. So that we've done everything, all the braking's done before we go around that bend. Yeah. Okay. So if you think of you as in this yellow car, yeah. I'm just going to use a pen. So yeah. So um, so you you'd see to that point, and then your view would extend through there, wouldn't you? So yeah. basically, if I put my hand there, you just can't see no. beyond that line, can you? No. So if we call that point your limit point, the limit of your vision. So the view you'd kind of be getting on the road would look something like that, wouldn't it? Yeah. Where the near side and the off side meet yeah. at a point, and that's your limit point. So, what is your responsibility as a driver, regardless of the speed limit? What must you, as a driver, always be able to do? Stop. Yeah, stop within the distance, distance you can see. see. Yeah. Clear. That's it. So, as we're coming to this brand, we can't see that red car. It could, for all we know, it could come across on that side of the road, can we? Yeah. Or there could be a gap in the head and there's a tractor about to pull out and we just wouldn't know that. No. So we're going to get all that speed off before the bend okay. and brake. When we get to here, what's going to happen to your view? Um, better see further around the bend. That's it, the, it's like <laughs> angles isn't it? Your view yeah. is going to sort of open up over to that point. Yeah. So as you're getting closer to the bends and slowing, so if the limit point's fixed and you're just gaining on it, we're going to slow. Yeah. to a speed that we could stop at within the distance seem to be clear. Yeah. As we get nearer, that view is going to open, yeah. depending on the severity of that bend. When that starts to open, then we get our gear before the bend yeah. and go around the corner. So we've got to try and do all that before we start steering those wheels. Okay. Because what would be the risk if you're trying to change gear and steer around the corner? Well, one hand on the steering wheel, probably pull a little bit, go out of lane. Yeah, and so that was the consequence of you not being able to steer accurately on a bend. Well, could cut across the road, hit another vehicle. Exactly. <coughs> so yeah. as a th as we're going to be doing this today, we're going to be getting that speed off before the bend. We're going to get the gear done. Now, if we can't get the gear in, I'd rather you go around that bend too high gear. Right, if okay. I needed to intervene at that point, I would to help you if it was yeah. if we was at risk of stalling. But it's really important you go around this bend with both hands okay. on the wheel. Yeah. So this is it's quite a process, you know, to get the speed gear before, all before the bend. Yeah. So we're going to go and have a go at doing that today. Okay. Now, what level of help would you like from me to help you negotiate some of these bends? Um, to be honest, I wouldn't mind if the first time a full talk through if possible. Okay, yeah, because we've got our options yeah. and we've often given you options yeah. Yeah. ranging from the full talk through from a prompted like bit yeah. of question and or if you, when you've got it independent let you get on yeah. and have a go yourself. So yeah. if yeah I think that's a good idea as it's new we'll start off with a talk through yeah. to make sure you you do the first couple of bends and you get them right. Yeah. Then as I see you're gaining in confidence I'll be talking to you and as, as that happens then I can hand over some more responsibility and maybe turn to asking you yeah. and and at any point I could always jump in. So I won't let you go around a bend too fast. Good. <laughs> so um, I will be giving you instruction. If you're not braking enough, I'll say break more. Yeah. If you're not braking more and we're getting too close to that bend, I will intervene and use the foot brake to take that speed off to keep us and everyone else okay. safe. Is that okay That's to perfect. do that? Yeah. Okay, I'll instruct you to change gear. if. You're struggling, yeah. 
then I can do that for you. Okay. Okay, so yeah. we will go around these bends nice and safe, okay. and you'll get some experience. So we're going to look at using the extra gears. Now initially, because the road we're going to go on is quite short, and there's some quite severe bends coming soon, right. how about if we just stick to what you know, yeah. we'll get up to a speed of 40 that you've done yeah. before. We don't need to go much faster than that, but we don't really want to go much slower. We don't okay. really want to be doing 30. So if we say a safe speed of 40, just yeah. to get used to it, you can use fourth gear. Yeah. And as the lesson progresses, then we get using more gears as okay. as, as the lesson yeah. goes on. The the key thing I want to help you initially is these bends. Because yeah. like I say, they're going to come up quite quick and they're quite severe. Okay. All right. Yeah. And then we'll be talking about the limit point and how that's looking. So you understand the limit point. Okay. Just want to quickly show you another little picture. Because we have limit points on bends, but also I didn't have. should have put a little post in. Ooh. Ah, here we go. So we look at this. So this this is all illustrates what I've just done. We could we don't yeah. just don't know what's around these no, points. Yeah. horse. But also a dip in the road. See the yellow car's got the vision there. Yeah. And we can't see the red car in the dip. No, we can't. So no. again a. a Dip represents a limit point, so the crest of the first hill is the bit of uninterrupted road, road. surface that you can see. If you can't see beyond it, that becomes your limit point okay. there. Um, and don't assume there's nothing there. And we're going to have one of those today. Okay. So we All can right. really use limit point on dips and yep. bends okay. initially. And then as I say, we'll build up to using more gears, gaining more speed, build your confidence. Okay. Well, how does that sound? That sounds great. All right. Yeah, okay. Good stuff. So um, let's put this away. Now if you just, just readjust your yeah. seat, let me get myself sorted out as well. So now just because you had a little cough and we're in the middle, middle of a COVID thing, do you want to have a oh, use your hand gel? That is a cough I've had for life, not for kids. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> but that is a good idea. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, so we've got a plan so, and we've got some goals. So in terms of directions today, I'll give you directions clearly in good time. Yeah. If I'm not giving you directions, just follow the road ahead at all times. Okay. Unless road markings or signs tell you otherwise. Okay, good. Okay, if you're not sure where you're going, ask and I'll repeat it. All right. Okay, so we're going to go and do some rural roads, bends. I'll give you a talk through for the bends. We've agreed that. Yeah. And if I need to intervene, I will if you're, if you need any physical intervention. But I'll be talking you through. So, for example, if you're not braking, I'll, yeah. Yeah. I'll get on those brakes to make sure we're okay. safe. Okay. Okay, would you like a little warm-up drive? Do you want to just have a little go around the block before we go into the rural roads, just to get used to the car, just get a feel for it? I think I'll be okay. I really, really do. Yeah. Straight on? No, I think it'll be straight on. Okay, yeah. Yeah. brilliant. So we're going to head out of the car park. We've done this many times before out of this car park. So just remind me, where are the exits? If you were here on your own today, where would you be heading to exit this car well, park? Well, the closest exit is over to the right, and I have got an exit over to the rear left. So, so, um, so in this situation, which way would you go? Well, the easiest, easiest way has got to be straight ahead. All right, and how are you going to get there? What's the plan? Um, we've got a parked car there, I can see that, and there isn't anyone in it. So I think we've got to just drive straight through the, the lanes and turn right. Okay, so as you go through here through the base, yeah. Um, how are you 100 percent sure there's no one in that car? I won't stake my life on it, but I'm so what positive. if you're not 100 percent? Because we never yeah. can be, can we? No, we can't be now. What could happen as you're going past that yeah. car? Passenger door could open. Could do. So to mitigate that risk, what could you do could, differently to to, I could, to sort of? Let's imagine that happens, and yeah. you think, do you know what, oh my god, I just had an accident. What would you do differently? Well, I've got a choice of going left, or I could just cut across 
that bay over there. Give it more clearance. Give it more clearance. Yeah. That's what I would do. I'd give. I would. I would go through the bays. Yeah, I'd give it. The um, give just give it more clearance, just in case. Because yeah. yeah. do, does everyone check their mirrors when they open it? No, especially all. passengers. Yeah. And likewise, because we're sat in the space, what's the likelihood of someone, just as you're about to move off, yeah, cutting through, through the bays behind you? Yeah. So where would you look before you'd move out of this space? Yeah, do the full palm routine. Very good. All around. Alright. So I'll leave that to you then. Okay. Alright, so when you're ready, we'll head towards the exit. Okay. That's that's good clearance, isn't it? So even if they did open it, they were we're safe. Okay, so at the end, Patrick, I'd like to turn right. My friend. Excellent, well done, and at the roundabout, turn right. Good. Why did you hold back for that blue car? Um, well, he had an indicator on to turn left, but I just looked at his wheels to see where he was going and to make sure he was turning on before I pulled over. Yeah, it's good. Good precautions because an indication is not a definite sign he's going to go, is it? No. At the roundabout, turn left. And as we enter the new road, I want you to tell me what the speed limit signs are. Okay, so um, what the speed limit signs we've got there? National speed limit, 60 miles an hour. That's it. Good mirror check. Why would you check your mirrors in the new road there? Um, to make sure there was a cycle so it's coming behind me. And how are you going to judge a safe following distance on this vehicle? Um, two second rule. Yeah, and it's slightly wet, so what would you do with that distance? Probably double up to four seconds. Okay. Now you're in third gear, just stay in third gear because we're coming up to our first shot. So, I'm going to talk you through, so just update your mirrors and tell me if anything's behind. Okay. And we've got a sign here for the junction, and we've got priority. So check your mirrors again and just start to bring in the brakes. And just keep braking. And look, see the limit point, we can't see around that corner, so just keep braking down to second gear whilst braking. Get your clutch up off your brakes there, and now steer and go around the corner. So now, this is a safe speed for this bend. So if there was someone broken down there, we could have come to a stop. Are you happy with your wipers? I don't know, yes. Okay, good. Now just ease off your gas, brake gently for me, look at the limit point and come off your brakes. Now look at that limit point, it's just growing, isn't it? Moving away in front of you, and now you can accelerate and go around in the correct gear. So that's good, well done. Update your mirrors for me. So, so you've gone up to third. And now just ease off the gas. And shouldn't need to brake for this one. Look at the limit point, and when that starts to go ahead of you, gently accelerate and follow, because we're at a safe speed for this bend. Would you agree that yeah, yeah, if there were some cyclists there, we could have stopped? Yeah. That's it. So now your view stretches out in front, and as long as we can stop within the distance seen to be clear, that's going to be a safe speed. Okay. That's it. So, what's the speed limit ahead? Are you happy doing all this? Yeah. Good mirrors, well done. So this is a rural setting, we've got a village. Are there footpaths? Um, no. no. So we can expect people walking in the road as yeah. I think it's going to do. So, yeah. At the next junction, I'd like you to turn right. Okay. Now tell me what kind of junction this is. Are you happy dealing with the crossroads? Yeah. Okay, I'll let you get on with it. Good. Really good mirrors there, you know, you've got over it showing a really good awareness. Okay, so did the speed limit change when we entered this road? Yeah. No? I'd have to 
Oh, sorry, no. No, it's still 30. So, yeah. what kind of hazard are you going to be dealing with next? Um, zebra crossing. Okay, and beyond that is a mini roundabout. I'd like you to go ahead at the mini roundabout. And at the mini roundabout, I'd like you to show me with the position of your car what you should do at a mini roundabout. So, you don't have to say anything, I just want you to show me with the position of your car what you should do here. Good job. Now, do you think all drivers would do that? No. No. Okay. So, if you look ahead, what's what's change are we going to be dealing with soon? Um, speed change. Just slow down because you're doing 35 and this is a 30 mile an hour. Okay. okay. Speed change. So, so, what's the problem of building your speed too early? Well, not to break the speed in the Yeah, and what's the consequence of that? Um, three points on the license. Yeah, so that car behind. Could be a police car, couldn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a level crossing. Have we dealt with these before? Yes, I think we did do that earlier on. Uh, I don't remember doing that anyway. <laughs> okay. okay, sorry, no, we At didn't the do that. No, no, we might have done. At the roundabout, we're going to go ahead. First exit. Okay, so you just dropped into third. I'll talk about that in a little while. Just concentrate on the roundabout. I think we're going to do. So well done, well done on the white van. Because was he sick? No. Yeah. You didn't trust him, did you? No. That, that was good. And that's like what you did with that learner car early on the roundabout, that blue seal, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. So speed limit here is 30. 40. 40 repeat your songs. Caution. You're dealing with that, okay? Yeah. What could you do if they didn't respond? Uh, How could you let them know you're there? Very good. Okay, so, yeah, we will talk about the excess speeds in a little while, but I want you to focus on what's happening next. What's the speed limit doing now? Um, change and what's this car behind you doing? 60. So maintain take. this speed and just let it go. Yeah. Okay. So now we're into new territory. This is this will be a good little bit of road where you can sort of build up your speeds. Okay and use more of those gears because you're currently in fourth gear doing just over 40 and how do you feel with the speed? Do you feel comfortable? Yeah, I feel comfortable, yeah. How about, do you feel like just building your speed up to 50 miles now? Okay, yeah. Is it safe to do so? Yeah. No one trying to overtake? No. So now you're at 50. But just leave it in fourth gear. So if you look ahead, ahead, what's the road doing? Um, straight. Just Is it? Look further. There's a bend coming up. Okay, which way is the bend going? To the right. So can you see the limit point? Yes. So we just can't see round that bend where that red yeah. car has just vanished. Yeah. So at this speed, could you stop? No. Yeah, so I would say yeah, just ease off. Shouldn't need to brake for this one, just ease off. Look at the limit point just yeah, moving. moving away. And now you can accelerate and go round. So that bend was far less severe than the other bends, yeah. wasn't it? And we do that by looking at our limit point. Vehicles ahead, what are they doing? Um, stopping. Yeah, and how do you know then? Do it. Brake lights. Good. And what was the first thing you did once you saw them braking? Check the mirrors. Very good, well done. So what's the speed limit coming up in the new road? Um, 30 mile an hour. And what was the speed do we need to be at by the time we get there? 30. Good, so you can make sure you are. That's it. Are you okay dealing with the hazard ahead? Yeah, so we could consider a lower gear going down a hill, can't we? Yeah. So control the speed of the 
car. Okay, so you're now at 46 miles an hour. We'll leave you in four for now. Now, we're gonna follow the road ahead. And what kind of hazard are we approaching now? Um, Crossroad. He's got priority. So once we've gone past the hazards, what I'd like you to do is just change it to fifth gear. That's it. So now that was good, you've got into fifth there. That's a good gear change. Now we're going to look ahead. Can you see the sharp deviation signs? Yeah. So check your mirrors and start to brake. I took you through this one. So it's just going to brake, keep braking, keep braking more. Keep braking down to second gear, keep braking. Off your brakes, clutch up. Now you're at the correct speed to drive around that bend. So see how we get all that speed off before we go into the bends. So if there was a broken down car or whatever, we could deal with that safely, can we? Okay, good. How do you feel at dealing with those bends. Do you feel that you can take more responsibility for getting the speed and the gear off? Yeah. Okay. Like it, uh... So it's a shame we've got this car in front of us because what I was hoping to do on this Stilburn Road is try and build your speed up a little bit more right. and get you to my gears. I don't really want to tackle overtaking with you now at this stage. Okay. So what speed are they travelling at? And are you at a safe distance? Yes. Good. What hazard have we got on the road at the moment? Yeah, there's mud on the road. So what vehicle could we anticipate just over the crest of this hill? Um, a farm vehicle. Exactly. Have we talked about OAP? Um, no. We're going to talk about that in a little while. Okay. Because that's a good way to spot hazards. Now, there's our next bit. Do you want to have a go at dealing with this one? Yeah, if you don't mind, please. If you need help, I'll jump in with a prompt. So that's an early gear change. Is that the correct gear for this bend? Um, wouldn't know. So what I want to suggest to you is, do your braking bit first, and then you get straight gear. Because okay. you did it back at that roundabout. Remember when I said yeah. you went to third, then you ended up in second? So we did two gear changes where one would have been fine. Okay. I'd like to take the next round on the left. Speed limit, you're at 32, they're in for 30, we need you at 30. So I'll, remind, I'll keep an eye on you for that and remind you. It's just that two miles an hour could be the difference between you stopping or not. And if that's a child in the road, that two miles an hour wouldn't mean a lot okay. to them. Could be the difference between their life or death. Hey, what's happening behind? What do you think he might do soon? Want to overtake. Look at the bends. Yeah. That's it, that's a good speed for that bend. So we know where they've got to cut the vehicle behind, and just be aware he might go for the overtake. If he does, would you speed up or just ease off? What would be just the ease off. That's so we want to let him go, we don't want to make it harder for him. And is he now following at a safe distance? Yes. Yeah, he was he moved up quite close behind before the bend and he looking for that overtake yeah. and now I think he's quite happy to sit back. Look at his position in the road. What well, now that's the overtake position yeah. is now. Correct. So we're mindful of that and what's happening ahead with the speed limit signs? Change of speed so to say. When are you gonna change your speeds? Before or after those signs? After. What do you think he's gonna do? He might do. So let's see what he's going to do. Just check your mirrors. Yeah. Build your speed gradually. That's it. You're currently in fourth gear. And we're going to leave you in fourth gear just for this. Because we're going to negotiate some bends. So would you want to have a go at doing these? Yeah, if you want me to. And if you need a gear change, if you need a gear change, I want just one gear change. Look at the limit point and decide whether you think you need to slow down and change gear. What do you think? No, I think we're okay. That's it, so that limit point's just running. So that's good, you've got a good understanding now of that limit point. And what's happening around there with the limit? Yeah, that's moving away from us. Good. And what's 
that carbine doing now? Please drop back. And how are you dealing with this hazard? Just checking the mirrors. Yeah, maybe it stays off, off just we can't see the near side, the hedges. Yeah. Could have been a cyclist that's just yeah, about to come out, so we just caught to that. And now that we've passed the hazards, yeah. look at the next to point. Yeah. Keep your eyes on it and think, could I stop within the distance? I would say, yes you can, yes you can, yes you can. Good speed for that bend. Well done. What do you need to do with the next one, okay? Just going to let you get on with it. Maybe just take fifth, just so we get used to using it higher gear, that's it. So you're in fifth gear and this bends over to you. Form a U-turn. See if you can swing the car around. Is it safe behind to do that? Good. So if you can swing it around in one move. And then we're just going to come to a stop here. That's it. So you can secure the car. If you just stab oh, the yeah. foot brake, oh, yeah. you're on. And now you can press the ignition. That kill that. So let's just review how you've done there. So let's think about what our goal was. Uh, one of our main goals there was to deal with pens, wasn't it? Yeah. And how? What have you learned? What would you take away from what you've learned so far about how to deal with a bend? Um, get your speed off and your gear change done before the bend. One hazard, one gear change. And how do you think you're getting on with that? Yeah. I'm getting there now. Yeah. yeah. Feeling good. Yeah. So we can get some more practice on that and yeah. look at some more bends. Hopefully these are roads that you don't know. Have you ever been round here? Um, I mean no. we haven't done rural roads. So no. I don't know if no. you So this is really good for you to sort of judge that speed. So we're going to do some more on that. Yeah. Good. That's good. Anything there that you feel you could be doing better? Um just my speed a little bit, just yeah. Although I got that in the end, I think. Just get my speed off before I... Uh... So into a new speed limit. Yeah. If the, if the speed limit sign is round, what does that mean? If it's a Let's round sign. Yeah, it's an order in it. Order. Yeah. And you've already identified the consequence of going over, even just by one mile an hour. Do people get done for speeding by being one mile an hour over the speed limit? Yeah, I guess they do. Yeah, yeah they do. They do. Um, so we need to be mindful of that. We talked about coming down the hill where your speed crept up. Yeah. And I, I kind of explained that on the drive. Are you happy with how using a lower gear would control the speed? Yeah. Definitely, 100%. So yeah, so we could consider a gear change. Yeah. Talking about gears, is there an opportunity for you to do anything differently with your gears in that drive? I can think of two occasions when I thought, ooh, 
change down a bit later than early. Yeah, so if we took, you know where we dealt with the level crossing? Yeah. And I complimented you on the white van that yeah. didn't signal the yeah. exit. Now I thought you dealt with that really well. Good. Um, before that roundabout, you were in fourth gear, and yeah. then you changed to third. Yeah. And then when you slowed down more for the roundabout and looked at that van, you took another gear. Yeah. What was the other gear? Um, second. Second. What would you do differently if you were doing that bit again? Um, you're driving staying, along, you're in fourth yeah. gear, you, there's a roundabout coming up. Yeah, stay in fourth gear and select it and, until I needed to select a gear. Well, after I looked at the roundabout, see. see what was in there. If I've got to go through it slower, I'd have selected. Can you think of a benefit of doing that? Um, two hands would be on the steering wheel going into the roundabout or me coming up to the roundabout. Yeah, and it's. Economy. How's it going to help your economy? Well, less gear changing. Yeah, and how does that and help? And the engine braking. Yeah, so how braking. does that help? Well, it's, you, it's less fuel. That's it. Yeah. So, eco friendly, yeah. fuel efficient driving. It's very good. Um, and also, your workload in the car. Is it going to reduce it, make it yeah. easier yeah. to do one gear change rather than two yeah. or three gear changes? So it's going to make make life easier for you, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, and it, it's more time from a safety point of view. You've got more time holding the steering wheel, haven't you? So if you were some, you know, some drivers, you know, going back to when I learned to drive, we were told to go down all our gears. Yeah. Because cars were. The brakes weren't as good, so you use your brakes and your gears, gears to slow down. Right. Now brakes, they've sorted the brakes now, so right. we can just use brakes to slow gears to go again. Right, okay. So, um, so, yeah, you know, in the old days, and you'll probably see drivers do this still, go down all the gears, so they're still in one hand as there's hazards coming towards as yeah. they're braking. So yeah. it's just better to, um, safer, you know, to hold it. Okay. So, so let's, going forward, so is that something we could look at to help you because then we did it on a bend didn't we you slowed down for a bend you you brake gear and yeah. then you kept braking and then you mm, yeah it's like yeah. let's get the speed off yeah brakes to slow arrive at the correct speed let's look at what the road's doing whether it's a roundabout whether that's clear or whether that's a bend and the limit points moving when everything's sorted on the speed gear yeah and go around okay both hands on the wheel so that's something we could look at. Okay. Would you like to do that? Yeah, we could do that. Good. And the other objective, we looked at getting you up to higher speeds. What speed did you go up today? Um, just under 60, about 58, I think. Yeah. yeah. So, and what gear did we get to? Five. Five. And so what gear haven't we used yet? Um, six. So perhaps we could look at that. Okay. And we've talked about maybe going from fourth to six. We could look yeah. at that. So we're just going to get do some more work now, getting you to acclimatise to the speed, use more gears, think about selective gear changes. Okay. I'll, I'll give you some prompts on that until it okay. becomes habit. And then we're going to go and find some more bends. And... Okay. Yeah, I think, because I think you're coming along nicely with the bends and judging that speed okay. right. Do you still need me to remind you about changes of speed limit to make sure you're... No, I think I'm okay with that now. I mean, if I'm, obviously, if you're jumping, if I'm... Not, but I think I'm okay I won't let that. you speed. Okay, fine. I won't let you speed. No, I'm, I'm judging. I've that. let you speed today by one or two miles an hour. I didn't intervene there. I didn't think that it was severe enough to do that. If there was a police car behind you, then I would have done. Okay. So I was just sort of let, giving you a little bit of wiggle room. And also, just another thing we could just add to the lesson. I mentioned OEP, but never come back to that. Yeah. So you're probably thinking, I've never mentioned that to you. No. So OEP is just a little way to deal with hazards okay and what it stands for is observe yeah anticipate yeah plan okay so we might make an observation with the muck on the road yeah that's our observation the anticipation you said what Track. could be could be yeah. a tractor and what would be the plan slow down a slow down be yeah. prepared to stop, stop. Yeah. so um if there was a bin out the bins are out on the side of the road what could you anticipate um, yeah, bin lorry and men walking around. That's it. Okay. So that we can maybe get some more <coughs> of that in there today as well. Okay, good. To sort of build up your hazard awareness yeah. situations. Because oh, yeah. we did see some hazards today, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, we did. Is there anything there that you can think of that 
come up that I haven't talked about or that you've got a question or anything that you're not sure of? No, I don't think. I think you covered most of it. All right, you so let's go. Let's go and do the next pitch, shall we? Yeah. Okay. That sounds good. I'll come out and roll there. So yeah. 